You die. All right. Uh, we just listened to Suffer in Hell, the album from Chelsea Grin, or I should say half an album. Uh, the other half of this album will come out in March, March something next year. Um, so anyways, I'm going to give you some a uh, little bit of track summary and uh, my initial thoughts. And we'll go into a little deeper discussion with Jordan. Uh, I will say the discussion will probably be a little bit shorter because it's a 26-minute tw album. Uh, you know, there's not too too much to dive into, but there is enough meat that we can get some, some little notes here. Um, so I will say that uh, I did like this. Um, Deathcore, for me, is a very interesting genre. Um, I you know, was heavy into it back in 2005 or not 2005. It was like 2007. Um, and you know, the, all the MySpace era, you know, and then I, you know, of course I went back into like, uh, as Borderlands black from 2005 and all that stuff. Um, and so that kind of, that stuff kind of spoiled me. And after I'd say probably like 2012 ish, 2015 ish, I mostly stopped I don't. I didn't really listen to deathcore. I love going to deathcore shows and seeing shit live. Sitting down and listening to deathcore is usually not something I sit around and do. Um, other outside of certain bands like Oceano, uh, fucking love Oceano, um, and uh, 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 Impending Doom. But um, I'm just very specific about it. Um, but it is something I love to see live, of course. Um, so I still listen to it. I still consider myself a deathcore enjoyer. Um, but anyways, I think this was uh, this was really good. Um, Chelsea Grin is one of those bands I, I I slept on for a really long time. I you know I knew I know some of their greatest hits and that's about it. Um, I know Tom. I never was a Lorna Shore enjoyer though, um, even when he was there. Uh, but I am very familiar with Darko. Uh, so hearing him do some more standard deathcore stuff, I honestly feel like it dare i say kind of fits his fits he fits better in this than 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 darko i think darko is really good uh i think they're just still working on finding out who they are so they're not quite there yet i don't think but um so but hearing his voice in something that's more, more well-rounded and focused uh i think really works really well i think he does some really great vocals here um especially when he brings in some cleans they're very light very faint in the back there's not uh, too many of them but it's just enough to like you know give it a nice little touch um but anyway some thoughts here uh or some uh uh track summaries uh you got origin of sin which kicks in uh it's very symphonic there's like some nice um like organ synths in the background and stuff um and kind of sets the the tone for the album uh it's like it feels like it's leaning towards blackened deathcore with that or symphonic deathcore but but not quite not quite it's it's just got elements of it they don't they don't commit to that which i appreciate them for um it's still very like right in that 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 deathcore genre you know uh it even leans into like some like very death metal style stuff in a couple tracks um, well, especially with uh, Tr Trevor on one of the tracks as well. Um, but it also on that song, there's like this dissonant breakdown at the end with like there's the the, the guitar kind of reminded me of like bees. It was like bees swarming. It was really cool sounding. Um, Crystal Casket, that one had um, a very bro core breakdown in it. It was it was like just a, like, a, like a slower mid. It was like a mid tempo breakdown, but it was like you just you know go along with it uh that one had a really nasty bleh in it <laughs> um i think that was the one where it said bleh in the fucking in the lyrics <laughs> which was funny i kind i was hoping they didn't put it in there because it was, it, was, it was a nice little surprise but um also the, the song with trevor was pretty good too um deathbed companion was uh it was you know it's just uh i'd say that was probably the most average song in there I, I didn't even write anything down on it maybe i just wasn't paying enough attention i also went to pee at the time so <laughs> but uh it was good you know it was deathcore it was chelsea grin um flood lungs that one was very uh mid-tempo uh all throughout they were, i don't think it really had any blast beats or anything most of the other songs are very fast um that's the one where they introduced some cleans 
in the break in the in the background and then they also bring it back again during the breakdown which i thought was really cool um probably one of the most interesting tracks on the album uh i think i would kind of, uh, me personally i wish they would bring the cleans up a little bit more you know put that in the foreground but uh a lot of people don't like that kind of shit so you know i understand them you know just just light, light little touches that's okay too um also that one had like the very chorusy um guitar at the end the like the chorus pedal and shit um again very interesting song uh the isness that one had a lot of guitar play that one was uh very guitar focused lots of like riffing and uh just a whole bunch of cool shit in there that one was a really fun one uh morning hymn that was the one i wrote down that was very that was like a very uh, death metal feeling that was jordan said uh death metal kill switch <laughs> in that one that one had some some fun stuff as well there's a lot of cool riffs the guitar work is really fun in this album i think um and then you come to a close with suffer in hell suffer in heaven what a fucking closer uh that song was wild it was like just like fucking squeals and scrapes and just all kinds of fucking crazy noises with the guitar like way cooler than i am has ever done uh <laughs> no offense i am love you guys um but yeah that's a that was really fun track uh, what a great way to close an album it's gonna be interesting hearing the new album when it comes out uh in march how they you know how it leaves off i wonder if they're gonna blend some more of that in there would definitely like to hear them come back to that uh in the next half so uh, we're definitely gonna have to review that one again uh, but other than that, like uh, production wise, I think the production was really good. Um, I had heard negative things about the drumming. I've heard that the, the drums were all programmed um, and it stood out, um, which I, I hate hearing shit like that because then I start thinking about it as I'm listening to it, um, which I didn't think I really didn't don't think any of it bothered me any. I don't think. What did you think about the drums? Did, the, did any of it stand out uh, to you? I mean, it's. At that point, like most modern bands, anyways, they're gonna sample, replace stuff in the end, anyway. So, like, I don't know. It's it's all gonna sound pretty much the same, no matter what. Yeah. I mean, it sounded pretty good. Yeah. Um. I think the snare. Uh, I don't think there was enough sp snare bombs. Uh. Like during the the little breakdowns, and they'd have the pause with the snare. The the snare didn't really hit, and also the 808. Uh. As Jordan was saying earlier, the 808s kind of were very very low. Um, not enough of a boom to them. I think there just wasn't enough low end on this album. Uh, it wasn't like too out of place or anything like that, but uh, just could have picked up a little, just a little bit more. Um, but other than that, uh, the album is very uh, big sounding. This is has, this does have a very epic feel, um, a sim similar to Black and Deathcore, uh, but again, it's not Black and Deathcore. I'm mean, just saying that it's got that that grand feeling um i think it's, it also has to do with like the concept of it so i'm definitely gonna have to see how the other half of this album comes out and see where they go with it um also mourning him uh that one was very interesting uh lyrically uh i definitely feel like that song was about abortion um just reading through the lyrics um especially with the name mourning you're mourning um so uh, I just just something I noticed, you know, with the lyrics. I'm glad that they put the lyrics up here for me to go along with uh, so that I could get those notes uh, of emotion through there. Uh, so really interesting there because um, you're talking about, you know, making a choice and you know, just wondering what life is like and, you know, um, but other than that, you know, I think it was really good. Uh, I do think Tom's vocals could have been higher in the mix a little bit at times. I think sometimes he was just like a little drowned out. Uh, but maybe they just didn't want him because like Darko is very Tom focused. <laughs> maybe they just didn't want to be, you know, all about Tom. So uh, maybe it was a stylistic choice, but uh, I think that could have been bring that up. Um, the the snare needs a little bit of work and the um, and the 808s just a little bit extra low end on the on the production. But uh, outside of that, I mean, again, it's a very short, so it's it's hard to give it a lot of negatives so definitely gonna have to wait till the new one comes out but overall this was a uh, really really fun so jordan what are you thinking i thought it was really really good um i really like that they really haven't changed their sound they've just kind of like expanded it and made it bigger um we were talking in the comments during the the album review uh 
and we were talking about some of their older stuff that kind of had like a bigger production and they had clean vocals before and i, I feel like um that was something that they kind of experimented with a little bit but they really kind of save for special moments and i think that was kind of cool uh how they blended the cleans uh in with with the heavy and kind of like the emotional parts uh yeah. in this uh vocally i thought it was really really cool um he didn't really like do too much like crazy stuff he just kind of kept his like he had a, like a mid a low like a guttural and then like the highs and yeah. i thought uh he kind of just kind of stayed in that range instead of going all over the place like uh, darko because that was a little bit too much on that album there was a and time is, there was like yeah. one one or two lines where he did like kind of like a hardcore more of like a yell kind of thing I would yeah have, i was, would have been, was interesting about that yeah i like that um it kind of brought a little bit more of like an emotion to it i thought that was really cool because that's not really something that you get out of deathcore uh yeah. I mean, he kind of did back in the day, but it Oceano, still like wasn't a times. wasn't like a crazy. There wasn't a crazy amount of that, um, which I think is really cool, and that kind of tied in with like the morning hymn, and kind of the the, the lyrics, uh, even on the Forever Bloom and the, some of the other songs. It kind of had that theme. Um, overall, I really think the like the theme, the lyrics were cool, uh, really cool. It's kind of like. Uh, it's kind of got like a epic like the odyssey or like some type of like greek mythology kind of feel like god of war like it feels like some like apocalypse or something is happening and you're just thinking about all the stuff that's going on and everything yeah just kind of falling apart around you and i, I thought that was kind of cool um and it kind of blended in with the sound too which i, I thought that was kind of cool it's just kind of an overall theme which i think uh whenever bands kind of focus in on a theme and they kind of hone in on that that's whenever they really get like some cool ideas going and there's a lot of cool ideas on this uh, yeah I, I thought the drumming was all right uh i it didn't like sound like it was too crazy to be like human or anything so I didn't really think it like sounded programmed or processed yeah. too much, but they had ghost notes in there too, kinda, you know. Yeah, they had the ghost <laughs> notes, and they played with the symbols a lot, which I thought was cool. Uh, they always kind of do that, and that's kind of a thing that they've always had. And I'm glad they kind of keep that. Uh, we even saw that live; their their drummer was going off. Yeah. Uh, uh, even the guitars were going off this whole record. They're uh, there's a lot of really cool riffs a lot of real cool parts but there's not like it's not like every song has like really cool riffs some of the songs they kind of just go with the song and more of the theme which i think it's kind of cool whenever uh deathcore can kind of get kind of riff salad -y where it's not like a real song it's just kind of parts and cool riffs and breakdowns that all kind of fit together it's more of like a complete like you know package and i think that's really cool especially for this genre uh, especially because you know sometimes you kind of want a structure you know not every song has to have three verses or three choruses and a verse and you know breakdown but uh, i feel like uh, whenever you do kind of add those elements, it kind of tightens things up a little bit. Uh, but there is kind of a delicate balance between that. And I, I think they kind of hit that just right with with having some of the riff-centric songs be riff-centric songs. And then some of the songs just being really good songs. Uh, yeah, I thought that was really cool. And the ending was really sick. Uh, there was a lot of yeah, that was... like just cool, just like guitar effects and things that they were doing just to really make it not just a heavy breakdown and they kind of really made it like really cool and they had some like vocal effects where it got like really low uh, i thought that was really cool yeah uh, very it's a fucking great hype song is what that is so. yeah so i'd like to see how they start off the next part so for sure for sure uh, uh, I th I'm thinking maybe the next part will might have a little bit more of the emotion and more of the cleans, you know, 
it's kind of got that theme this is more yeah like hell and the hell like kind of... yeah definitely gonna have so, to see yeah, it'll be interesting it's gonna be an interesting wait till march it's a long time but yeah it's... i feel like maybe they could have waited to release this maybe until next year and then have like a shorter distance in between just kind of keep the hype going but yeah but hopefully they'll tour or something on on maybe just this part and then have something really cool later on yeah i definitely again some that that last track was just like super super killer like i would love to see that live that would be fucking a blast have a lot of fun with that one um but rating wise what would you rate this i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten yeah really really good Yeah. I don't know, it man. It's really hard. Uh, yeah. Um I want to give it a 10 out of 10. I want to. I guess you know cuz I don't know if I should take off for like the technical things, you know, they had the just a, a little bit of weird mixing stuff and for me it just didn't hit like super emotionally and it, it didn't hit me like really viscerally because like a lot of times whenever i hear a 10 out of 10 album like i get like goosebumps yeah. or something at least once during the album and it oh, didn't that really... last track kind of <laughs> i know it was yeah, just a hype song it, but yeah it, it was really really close for me <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Um, but I, I will say that if the second half of this is good enough, it could make like an overall a ten out of ten. So definitely gonna have to yeah. see. Really definitely depends. gonna have to see. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. Um, a very high nine out of ten for me. Very high nine out of ten. This was really good. Um, yeah, and get again, some more of those clean parts you know that that was where it kind of almost yeah. hit that mark for me but it just i just yeah if they would have brought more. those cleans out just a little like to like the levels of it just to bring it out really a little bit more of a focus than just kind of in the back uh, but it was still a nice touch it was still a nice touch just for me i would like to just lean into leave it, a know? little room uh but yeah overall you know it was great it was great um great job chelsea grin <laughs> 